is how to solve a quadratic equation using this Casio calculator. Press menu, scroll down and across to the right to find option A, the equation slash function mode. Press equals to choose that. Press two to choose polynomial mode. To tell the calculator you want to deal with a quadratic equation, type in two. Input coefficients of your equation. A is one, so type one equals. B is negative three, type negative three equals. C is negative 10, type in negative 10 equals. So now press equals to be told the first solution, equals again for the second solution, equals again for the x coordinates of the turning point, equals again to be told the y coordinate of the turning point. And that's it. Here's how to solve linear simultaneous equations using this Casio calculator. First press menu, now navigate to A, which is the equations slash function mode. Press equals to choose that. Press one to choose simultaneous equation option. We have two unknowns, so press two. Now import the two linear equations. Two equals, three equals, eight equals, three equals, negative one equals, 23 equals. When you press equals again, you'll get the solution for x, which is seven. Then equals again gets you the y solution, negative two. And that's it. Here's how to solve quadratic inequalities using this Casio calculator. Press menu. Now navigate to B, which is the inequality option. Press equals to choose that. Tell the calculator that you want to solve quadratic inequalities by typing in two. Now choose which type of inequality you are dealing with. Option four in this case, less than or equal to. Type in the coefficients of your inequality. Four equals negative eight equals three equals. When you next press equals, the calculator will reveal the solution. And that's it. Here's how to find the magnitude and direction of a vector using this Casio calculator. Press shift and plus to access poll. Import four, the i coefficient. Then press shift and close bracket to input a comma. Then, then input three, the j coefficient. Then press equals. At this point, the calculator tells you r equals five, which is the magnitude of the vector. Theta equals 36.9, which is the smallest angle between the x-axis and the vector. If this number is positive, it's anti-clockwise from the x-axis. If this number is negative, it's clockwise from the x-axis. So here is what this and other examples look like graphically. Here's how to find the angle between two vectors using this Casio calculator. So first make sure you're in degree mode if you want your answer in degrees. Then press menu, scroll down to option 5 and press equals to choose this vector mode. Right now we need to enter vector A and vector B. Okay, to do that you press 1. Select 2 because we're working in two dimensions. Press 5 to enter the i coefficient, then equals, then press 1 to enter the j coefficient, then press equals. So that's vector A entered. Now press AC uh, to enter vector B, press option again. 1 for define vector, 
choose two for vector b. So we end, now we enter vector b in the same way as we did for vector a. Select two for the dimension, then press two for the i equals, six for the j equals, and then ac. Okay, now to find the angle between the two vectors, press option, then scroll down and choose three for angle. So now we need to enter vector A by pressing option and three. Now a comma, shift, close bracket for that. Now we need to enter vector B option four vector B there it is close bracket now all we need to do is press equals and we have the angle between them in degrees 60.3 degrees and that's it here's how to find the gradient at a specific point on a curve using this casio calculator we're going to find the gradient of this curve at x equals 2. So first press shift, then this button to access the differentiation function. Type in the function, so x squared plus 2x plus 4. Then move the cursor to the right and enter the x value at which you want to know the gradient. 2. Press equals. That's it. And here's the maths behind it. Here's how to integrate between limits using this Casio calculator. First press the integration button. Using the x button, input the function, in this case x to the power 3. Then use the cursor to move and enter the limits, in this case 3 and 2, then press equals. That's it.